Uh, hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to get Ubuntu set up on a MacBook M1 using the virtualization software Parallels Desktop. Um, so first you gotta Google Parallels for Mac M1 and um, based on the latest release, uh, it now runs on both Intel and Apple M1 chips, so that's great. Um, so anyway, uh, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna download it. Um, I think they have a free trial so you can click try now and then download. Uh, cool, and once you've got through the download process, uh, you can follow the standard uh, installation process. Um, and yeah, this is gonna take some time to download, so I'll speed this part up. And then once you've finished downloading, what you're gonna see is this license agreement, click accept, and then it's gonna ask you to give it some permissions. So I think we need to give it permissions to a few directories. And yeah, there we go. And I think for here, we have to choose a specific ARM-based operating system. Um, and so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose Ubuntu. I think it uh, specifically grabs the image, like a Ubuntu image that's um, ARM-based. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna speed through this part. It's gonna download, I think like a two gigabyte file from Ubuntu. And yeah, once that's done, it's going to ask me to sign in. I'm going to use Gmail. Um, and yeah, once that's done, I am in. Um, so it looks like this is the standard setup for Ubuntu. Click the first option, and there we go. Um, it's going to ask me to set up my password for the first time. So let's just enter some, some password here. And... There we go, I'm in. Uh, I think there's like some initial setup for parallel tools. So yeah, I'm gonna enter my password so it gives it pseudo access and then yeah, let's click around. So here's terminal, terminal looks like it, it works. And let's see if the internet works. So I'm gonna open Firefox and let's go to YouTube and see if we can play a video. Okay, let's click on that. Okay, the ad's playing. Um, I'm having trouble hearing the sound though, so I'm not too familiar with virtualization, so I actually don't really know how to troubleshoot this, but um, this is me just trying out a few things. So I look at the sound, and it looks like there's some dummy output. When I click on the test, I can't hear anything. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with the sound. Um, cool, and this is just me showing around a few of the settings, so me just clicking through all the options and configurations you have with this tool. And yeah, let's try, what am I doing next? Oh, full screen. Okay, so yeah, there's full screen. And I think this is me trying to figure out how to exit full screen. There we go. And yeah. I'm just gonna hover over some of these options here. You can choose output. And yeah, this was me trying to see if that actually fixed the sound, but um, I wasn't able to actually get mm, myself to be able to hear the sound. Uh, so yeah, there's a camera that you can enable. And yeah, looks like those are the main options. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna show you is what it, what it looks like to suspend. So here I'm gonna click suspend. All right, here I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you to suspend uh, Ubuntu. So I've suspended it. I'm gonna go ahead and close Parallels Desktop entirely. So I'm just looking for how to quit. There we go, I'm gonna close the window and as well as quit the application. And then I'm going to open the application again. Okay, and there we go. And let me see what happens when I Resume. All right, continue free trial, and there we go. The Ubuntu is back where it was before. So I'm able to basically continue my activity. Uh, so yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. That's how you can support me. And if you have any additional content that you want to see, uh, please leave a comment. Uh, thank you, and talk to you next time.